What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at this beautiful 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4 in dynamic blue metallic. Now, if you're new to the channel or maybe you're just coming back for more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for weekly updates on all things GM. Now let's get into it. All right, so as with most of my videos, what we're gonna do is a quick walk around the exterior of the truck. I'll show you some of the highlighted features there. And then once we are done, of course, we will jump inside and go over the new interior as well. But just to kick things off, here's a quick look at your key fob. You can see you've got your lock, your unlock, you've got your remote start, drop the tailgate, we've got our panic button, and then we've got our GMC badge. Uh, on the back. I'm gonna throw that in my pocket. Now, before I even talk about the front of the truck, the paint on this thing is unbelievable. This is the first dynamic blue metallic truck that I've had the privilege of looking at. And I have to say, it looks a thousand times better in person than it has looked in any photos or any videos that I have seen. And it'll probably look better than even the video that I'm shooting right now, even if I'm doing it in 4K. The paint just absolutely pops. The metallic flake looks beautiful. And with that AT4 black chrome, just the contrast. Mm. Well played, GMC. You guys did a good job here. So we've got the new signature LED headlights. You can see you've got the LED day runners there. Down low, we've got our red tow recovery hooks because of course this is an AT4. We've got our fog lights, front parking sensors. This little plug down here that a lot of people skip over, they always end up asking what this is. Well, we've got the three liter Duramax under the hood of this truck. So that is your plug-in for your engine block heater. Underneath the uh, badge right here on the grill, You'll also notice a camera that is for your HD surround vision camera system, which I will go over, of course, once we jump inside the truck. Now I'm gonna back up, uh, let's say we'll go over on this side of the truck. And before we talk about the wheels, I'm gonna back up and just give you guys a nice side profile of this thing, cause she's a beaut. Crew cab, of course. Now let's take a look at our wheels. All right, so we've got a black 20 inch wheel with a nice machine face, really good look. And I think the 20 is the way to go if you're not gonna even go a step down for an 18. After all, this is an off-road focused truck. We've got two 75 wide Bridgestone Dueler ATs. Not a super aggressive tread, but definitely enough to get the job done. You can see we've got our Duramax turbo diesel badge, once again, with that nice black chrome. The contrast, just really, really good. In fact, here we got some sun again. Take a look at that dynamic blue metallic paint. Tell me this isn't the best color. Down low on the door, you can see we've got our AT4 badge. We've got our side mirrors, blacked out, integrated signals. You'll also notice we've got <clears throat> another camera for our HD surround vision camera system. Blacked out side steps. A lot of people have asked about these. I've seen in other videos. These are OEM steps, but they're kind of like uh, almost like a Rhino line material. So you're not going to slide. If you got wet, if you got wet feet or wet shoes, you're not going to slide anywhere. Smash your shin. We all know how much fun that is. Around the back, pretty much business as usual. You can see we've got our multi-pro tailgate. We've got our AT4 logo in the bottom right-hand corner. We've got our dual exit exhaust. Trailer tow package on this thing is all set up. So you've got. Both sets of plugs here, you've got your hitch. We've got our rear backup sensors. We've got our rear backup camera here. We've got an LED exterior light. I'm gonna open that up. You can see we've got our factory spray and bed liner. We've got 12 tie down hooks with room for expansion. So you can see these right here and those little plugs can pull out. You can put more hooks if you need them. We've got a 120 volt outlet as well as LED interior bed lighting rear power sliding window, and you'll also see on that third brake light, yes, more cameras, because you can just never have enough cameras these days. Let's see if this one has, let's take a look. No kicker audio system in here. However, if it were equipped with it, that would be right, right here. You'd see all your controls and your speakers. Um, I've seen some people actually put LED pod lights in there as well, uh, aftermarket speakers. So a lot of stuff you can do with the multi-pro tailgate aftermarket as well. Just throw that up there. Now, MSRP on this truck, which I don't think I have said, $68,110. And let's get up close and personal the window sticker so you guys can get a better look. Now, I know the sun and the lighting is a little tough today. Um, if you wanna pause the video right now, you should be able to see everything on the window sticker, but 
You can see we've got our 2022 GMC CR1500 AT4, dynamic blue metallic, jet black with accents. We've got our three liter Duramax with our 10 speed. Standard vehicle price, 61,700, but obviously we've added the AT4 premium package, 2890. We've got the tech package, 1590. This is one of the uh, most commonly requested packages because I can see your rear camera mirror, the 15 inch multi-color uh, multi heads up display, bed view camera. We've also got the 20 inch machine wheels. We've got the dynamic blue metallic paint. We've got, uh, I think that's just about it. A couple credits, total price, 68,110. As far as your fuel economy goes, you've got 24 combined, 22 city, 26 highway. Let's check out what we've got going on inside. Just a quick look at what it looks like when you're getting in. You can see you've got your jet black leather interior with the Kalahari accents. We've got the 10 quart storage container, backside of both seats. We've got our armrest that uh, doubles as a cup holder. Uh, I always tell people, have the kids use this cup holder. You're less likely to spill stuff. This one, I've seen some nightmares. I'm sure some of you have experienced that as well. Uh, underneath, we've got the storage compartment. Uh, great place to put jumper cables, a medical kit, uh, a road flare, whatever the case may be, uh, right under here so when you hit the brakes, everything doesn't come sliding out from underneath the truck. I always mention it, most of us with a pickup truck have experienced that in the past, so nice little feature there. You've got your rubber all-weather floor mats with carpets, but the carpet is removable. So you can see, you can just grab them, rip the carpeting out. If you're gonna you know, go uh, to the beach for the day, you know you're gonna get this thing really dirty, you're taking the dog out, whatever the case may be, maybe pull those carpets out, make your life a little bit easier, keep the truck nice. You do have heated seats back here. You've got your USB-C, USB port, and then your uh, vents back here for your passengers. I know for a while they didn't have one because, you know, what do the passengers need? And then my backpack. And now let's dive up front, which is probably what most of you want to see more than anything else. I do want to show you the door because we've got this, it's almost like a carbon fiber design with aluminum, with the black. We've got a new AT4 badge on the inside. You can see we've got the Bose logo because we do a Bose uh, audio system in here. Just nice looking truck. I am a huge fan of this thing. Stoked about it. I've been doing this for a decade and I still fanboy over trucks. I guess that's a good thing, right? All right. Now I am gonna go through this relatively quickly. Just let me adjust my power seat really quick so I can just give you guys a better view and let's get this to a place where we can actually get some stuff done all right so I'm gonna go through this relatively quickly if you're familiar with the channel you know I'm gonna work from the left work our I'm gonna start from the left work our way to the right go over every button and knob at the end of the video if you have any questions or maybe I missed something because sometimes I do that by all means leave a comment below and I'll be happy to address those uh concerns or questions so We've got our power windows, we've got our power mirror controls, we've got our memory seat buttons, our power locks. Once again, we've got this new like carbon fiber appearance with aluminum surround, just looks really nice. As we go over to the dash, we get a look at our four wheel drive controls with mode selector. So like if I toggle this, you can see it changes my drive mode, sport, off-road, we'll go back into normal. Uh, you also have your trailer tow mode button right here. Four wheel drive, auto high, four low, whatever the case may be. Headlight controls, spotlight over the bed, gauge cluster brightness. Up top, you have your heads up display. Hopefully you guys can see, I know it's kind of difficult to uh, show the heads up, it's actually showing up pretty well. The heads up display on video, it just never really looks right. Uh, but you can see as I'm toggling there, I can move it around, I can increase or decrease the brightness. So definitely something that's a really nice feature so you can keep your eyes on the road. However, I know when I had this in my 17 Camaro SS, I did find that I liked it off at night. It was just kind of like really bright in my face and uh, it's just something that I found. I loved it during the day, not so much at night. Definitely something that I always say when you test drive these things, make sure you test drive everything and get the full experience. So maybe drive it at night. Uh, on the steering wheel, we've got our heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, our adaptive cruise control here on the left. We, you can see now we do have paddle shifters, so minus is downshift and plus is upshift. We've got our Google My Assistant hands-free voice controls. And then this little toggle here, you can see we can go through all like the different uh, options and diagnostic information right here on our 12.4 inch, 12.4, 12.3, 12.4, uh, full color 
gauge cluster. And this is customizable. You can do things like, you know, I'll show you just real quick. I like this setting. So right side, we're gonna go to time and temp. I know people like to like see the picture of the truck, um, which I get, but I like the time and the temperature there. It's what I am looking for most often in my truck. So uh, just a nice little setup, my preference. And then I put this usually on the speed. So just toggle this down until I find my speed. There we go. That's usually how I have it set up, but that's just me. Uh, that brings us over to our giant 13.4 inch full color touch display. Uh, this was pretty much what all the hype has been about with the update on the interior. Everyone has kind of wanted the bigger displays and I think GM was smart to go horizontal. A lot of those vertical displays, you'll find yourself looking down and let's be honest, we, we're already pretty bad at keeping our eyes on the road. So it's nice to have a horizontal display it just makes it a little bit easier to keep your eyes at least closer to the road. Up top, you do have this brushed aluminum, which looks awesome with, it's almost like a piano black. And then you've got the jet black leather with the Kalahari accent. So once again, they've gone a little above and beyond your typical interior on the trucks, what we're all used to seeing. Now on the new display, you of course have Apple CarPlay, you've got Android Auto, you've got AM, FM, XM, and satellite radio. Uh, you've got your Google Assistant, the Google Play Store now, all your camera systems, which you can access right here from a touch of the button. You can see we're looking at our HD surround vision camera system now. Uh, we do have the ability to look at multiple views at once. Wherever the yellow dot is, that is the direction that you're looking at. So right here, we're looking in front of us. Now we're looking behind us. Maybe we want to look over overhead on the back, overhead on the front. We get the curb hunter camera. So if you're in the city and you park this thing close to uh, the curb, you don't want to curb your wheels. Great little feature to have. There's your trailer hitch view. And you've got your bed view. Every view you could possibly ever want in this thing. And then, of course, you also have the ability, you know, if you just throw this thing in reverse, it's going to activate the camera as well. So... That's your HD surround vision camera system. Another thing that I really like about this is the split display. You can see I have Google Maps open. I don't have this all set up, so let me just real quickly do it. Okay, turn on. Done. Close. All right, so if I go home and I go here. Once again, just haven't set this thing up. Go here and I want to click my map. So now let's say I want to listen to music. And while I'm listening to music, I want to have my maps open. Now you can do that nice and easy. Just a really nice feature. And it works both ways. You can have the map open, and then you can have the uh, audio over here smaller if you wanted to do that. Go to the home button. The other thing I'm glad, we still have a physical home button. We still have a physical volume knob. Uh, if you need to mute the system really quickly, just tap that power button. It'll mute the system for you. Uh, make sure that when you're test driving this, someone goes through all this stuff for you. Uh, make sure they set up your MyGMC account. You can actually schedule your service through here, which is really convenient. You've got your climate control settings that you can use uh, via touch as well now. However, I always am very happy that we still have analog controls for things like that. That's just me. 4G LTE Wi-Fi is all set up in here. You do have your trailering. You can set up different trailers. The vehicle remembers everything, takes you through uh, checklists if you need them. Just lots of things to just make your life a little bit easier. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it as far as the, the, the quick overview. Obviously, there's plenty to talk about. I'll make another video kind of deep diving in the infotainment system, but we'll save that for another day so we're not looking at a 25-minute video here. You've got your start-stop button. Of course, we've got our AC and heated seat controls. We've got our LED display climate control system. Below there, we've got our lane departure warning, parking sensors on or off, auto start and stop off or on, and it stays off if you turn it off. I hate the feature. I hate auto start, start and stop. I know a lot of people do. I'm not the only one. Uh, good news is if you turn it off, it will stay off when you get in and out of the truck. I know a lot of vehicles don't do that. So thank you, General Motors, for doing that. Drop the tailgate, hazards, traction control, hill descent control, lower all my windows. Underneath there, we've got a rubberized section here for some junk. We've got a USB-C, I don't know if you guys can see it, USB-C and USB port cup holders, another rubberized section. We've got our trailer brake controller. We've got the very controversial uh, console shifter, which I don't know why. I found actually it's kind of nice because when I rest my arm in the armrest, this kind of naturally sits here um, as opposed to not having it where your arm just kind of does that. So, so far, I am i don't mind this at all. It also, because you got rid of the um, column shifter, there's no blocking your view. So like if I lean back here, you know, 
it's almost like a full screen across the entire dashboard. There's no stick hanging out getting in my way. So uh, underneath, we've got a wireless charging dock. So if you got a phone that has wireless charging, just drop your phone down there. It's going to charge Apple CarPlay wirelessly. All really great stuff. You can see we've got your perforated leather and then uh, solid leather on the console lid. You've also got that black chrome in on the top. Inside, we've got a little organizer tray. We've got another full AC outlet, USB, USB-C, plenty of places to plug in, that is for sure. On the door, you can see, once again, we've got our Bose Audio. We've got the AT4 badge, AT4 on the floor. We've got our glove box up top, as well as our glove box on the bottom. Looking above, we've got programmable garage door openers. We've got our LED interior lighting. We've got our OnStar buttons or the power sliding rear window control. And then we've got our HD rear view mirror as well. What a difference between looking at, you know, looking at that, looking through the seats, looking through the kids, looking through the, uh, the, the cargo you have in the bed to looking at a flawless display uh, in full HD that stays on all the time. Love the thing. It's awesome. Uh, and that, my friends, is kind of the quick rundown of this truck. Uh, I think we're hitting the 15-minute mark here, so I do apologize for dragging it out a little bit longer than I wanted to, but the thing is beautiful. I wanted to make sure I showed you guys everything. Let me give you one more quick look at the front end. And unlike the AT4X, which I know has a lot of the hype, it's nice that this thing comes standard with that 3-liter Duramax diesel. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Once again, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, you want to know more or less, tell, tell me to shut up, you know, drop a comment in the comment box below. Thank you all for the continued support, and I will see you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Take care.